But no oranges and no lemons, so we made a fruit cocktail out of apples and pears. It's a depressing colour. Don't start finding fruit. Things are difficult enough these days. Pat's coming to church with me. Oh, good. Do come, Alan, dear. <laughs> no, not today. Oh! What's the matter? Mm. It's terribly sour. Is it? Mm, you try it up. Well, I already have. I'm so glad you were able to come down today. It's so rarely Alan introduces any of his friends to us. Hardly ever, in fact. Of course, it was different when he was at school. His friend Chris used to come most holidays. Charming boy and a very nice family. Mother, I don't think Pat wants to hear about my boyhood friendships. Why not? It's always interesting to learn something about you're fond of. Would you like some more? Oh, yes, please. Do come to church, Alan. It'd be so nice if we all went together. What is the point? Well, does there have to be a point? Well, it seems idiotic for a non-believer to spend his Sunday evening in church. He was once extremely devout. Uh, I was no such thing. You never understood what I thought. This needs sugar. Now, don't we have any sugar? Well, we only get eight ounces a week. Or doesn't rationally apply to people like you? Oh, uh, people like me? One's always hearing about people in hush-hush jobs living off the fat of the land. Would you say we lived off the fat of the land? Hardly. Oh, absolutely not. And stop fishing. Fishing? Yes, all these little hints about hush hush jobs. You know perfectly well we can't tell you what we do. Don't be cross. I'll go and see if we've got any sugar. <sighs> She's quite right, you know. Hmm? What about? Well, I do like hearing about... <laughs> I do like hearing about your family and friends. I wish you talked about them. Oh, no, I do, sometimes. Who's Chris? Christopher Morecambe. We were at school together. Your, your mother obviously liked him. Yeah. Yeah, one day. Very remarkable boy. Oh, he was very clever, very perceptive, very mature for his age. And he made everybody else seem so ordinary. It was one of those intense friendships that only happen when you're young. I worshipped the ground he walked on. Have you kept in touch? Hmm? He died. Oh. No, he'd had um, TB when he was a small boy. And he hadn't really recovered, and uh, I didn't know. I mean, he, he never told me. He was taken ill at school. We were all asleep. Next morning, I had him in rushed to hospital, and he he died six days later. Thursday, February the thirteenth, nineteen thirty. I was devastated. I felt, oh, I felt I should have died, not him. And d d d d d the only possible excuse for living was that I should achieve something that Christopher could no longer do. I used to think, <laughs> you know, after he died, I almost b b believed he was still with me. In, in spirit, and, and d could help me. I was that, I suppose, gave my mother the impression I was devoutly religious. I well, wasn't that at all. I was, I was obsessed with this, uh, this idea, this question, w w whether or not Christopher's mind could exist without his body. I mean, it was an obsession that stayed with me for years. What are mental processes? Can they take place in something other than a living brain? You see, in a way, in a very real way. Many of the problems I've tried to solve in my work lead directly back to Christopher. <laughs> Wouldn't he be amused? I think he'd be pleased. Hope so. It's a fur coat. Well, take it. Well, look at it. I am going to tell you something extraordinary about this fur coat. It looks ordinary enough to me. 
Define what is meant by a Fibonacci sequence. A Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers where each is the sum of the previous two. So you start with one, then one plus one equals two, one and two, three, eight, two and three, five, three, three and five, eight, five and eight, 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 thirteen. Good! Well done! Full marks. <laughs> Look at the work. Look at the pattern of the bracts, the leaves. Follow them. Spiraling round the cone, eight lines twisting to the left, thirteen lines twisting to the right. The numbers always come from a Fibonacci sequence. Always? Always. And it, it's not just uh, fur coats. The petals of most uh, flowers grow in the same way. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it prompts the old question. Is God a mathematician? I love you, Prof. I love you. You know that. Yes. You're supposed to say, I love you too. Yes, I know. Please say something. Well, I, I, I don't think of myself as a b -b -b very lovable person. Well, you are. Lots of men at Bletchley far more lovable than I am. <laughs> That's why you're wrong. Don't be silly. Of course there are. I see them every lunchtime. I, all, all rushing around, laughing, playing round. I'm a b -b amazed you haven't fallen in love with one of them. Because they're dull, that's why. So am I. Oh, that's where you're wrong. And you're untidy and messy and lacking almost all the social graces. I mean, your clothes are stained and you bite your nails. You tell the truth when it would be kinder to tell a lie. And you've got no patience with people who bore you, but you are not dull. And I love you. As a matter of fact, I do love you. As a friend. As a friend. That might change. Perhaps it might no. change. No. I'm a homosexual. I know. That doesn't stop me loving you. It needn't stop you loving me. It would stop me making love to you. I don't want that sort of life. And I don't think you do either. <laughs> <laughs> 